Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a single soldier permission. Uh, we are at mid of September and it's time to rescue a VIP, one of the potential missions that we could actually uh, win. The problem with the VIP missions is not all of them start in concealment. So let's say um, the VIP would start in the open, which I think um, the VIP does in this particular case. There is a pretty low chance that we're going to rescue him. And there we start. Yep, it's unfortunately not. It's unfortunately a reveal start. That's worse for us. Of course we can scout, but at the end of the day, if the VRP is being spotted out, there's only so much we can do. Yep, and we got spotted out. Didn't take so long. Matter of fact, it uh, was pretty immediate. Good, and now the name of the game... Sorry, needed to sneeze. Now the name of the game is Run. If the VIP can't outrun them, he's probably going to die. Problem with uh, the mech here, it can just shoot very far. Well, that was a quick one. I mentioned beforehand it's going to be tough, and it's exactly that. It is pretty tough. With a very densely filled area, extremely densely filled, probably 20 enemies here. And there isn't much I can do, f uh, there is simply not much I can do for the VIP. Also getting spotted out wouldn't really help. So might as well stay concealed and try at least to get him out. Didn't work in this case, so... That was suboptimal. At least we didn't get shot or injured. Good, so we don't get another scientist, but we do have a laboratory, so that counts effectively as two additional scientists. So the research speed overall is fine. I would say the biggest problem is rather have, uh, not having enough um, engineers. Three scientists isn't much, but like I said, with two additional scientists from the laboratory, we're effectively uh, researching as if it would be five scientists, which is okay. You can do legendary Iron Man with five scientists. For a moment, I was like, "Shit, did it fill? Uh, did it finally fill up?" 
Okay, let's see what else do we have as missions. I think we need to directly start with the Avatar project. Has a high chance for an ambush. What else do we have? Very fast mission for 4 aim. This here is good. Intel plus dodge. Mobility definitely helps. We're probably going to do this here. Shotguns plus one damage. Um, yes, that is going to help our um, our ranger. Plus we can negate any form of wounding. Uh, and we get a plus one mobility. Down to five days. That's pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. So we could start with that and then afterwards do the Avatar pro, uh, Project Progress. Getting this uh, sweet duration reduction definitely helps us. Five days is awesome. Nice. Okay, we got we got the Alois and we got the Alerium. So that's not the problem. Matter of fact, let's do one of the things here. If we're really going to be ambushed. I w that could have been an option building up the rifle but on the other hand we also want to get um, predator armor so we need to get some supplies here Let's get the supplies here. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Perfect gate experience, another mobility, improved shotguns. Now, what we need to do is reduce the Avatar pro uh, project by three. That's nine days. And I'm considering putting those two onto the mission. Ambush uh, uh, chance high. And there's also a high chance of a soldier being wounded. So that's kind of the price you pay. But those two together, although we're not getting the reduced uh, number of days, should work very well. Um, I am thinking about the school jack. Because if there will be an advent captain... We might be able to schooljack him in this mission and get our. Yeah, let's do that. We might be able to schooljack him in the mission and get our. Um, what is it? Uh, reduction of the avatar project. I think by one or two, uh, two blips. So that's pretty helpful. Give him the med kit. That's a little augmented shotgun, traditional sword, 
Well, we only miss is the improved armor, but yeah. So let's do this. This will reduce it by two if we capture an advent, um, an advent captain. It's even another reduction. So two and a potential another two reduction. That would be really helpful. Now let's scan for additional intel. That's another resource which we need currently. The outcome of this research can only further our advantage, Commander. Gremlin Mark II is good, Larium is be even better, and Blue Screen Rounds is phenomenally good for our weapons. Got an inspired Alarium, so yes please. That's the starter for the um, power armor. Hmm. I like blue screen protocol. We might want to start doing this. Do we really need blue screen rounds? I think we could. I think we could. Um, can we already build them? No. Still need mine shield. So yeah, let's go for blue screen protocol. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. That's a good idea because with it uh, we can give Roby or whoever um, is going on to a mission. The shotgun can load blue screen shells. Destroy an alien relay and kill all of the enemies. That almost sounds like a mission which our Reaper could take on. We could gain we could gain a, a scientist by doing so. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. All right, Skythe already has her complete loadout. Let's get this going. Now, as for her, I think blue screen rounds could help her as well. She just needs the extra, uh, the extra backpack. That is helpful because then we could um, even kill the mechanical units easy. So I don't think that we're going to be able to finish the entire mission. But our idea is more so to kill a few uh, to kill a few advent. Gain experience, and maybe, maybe if it uh, turns uh, out that way, to effectively even win the mission. But that's a big maybe. Oh wow, Andromedons. And uh, no, that is not gonna work out. Just out of range. I'm on the move. Perfect. 
Perfect position, by the way, for the sniper, uh, for the Reaper up here. Can't be spotted out. Um. Oh, the target is over there. I was just minding my own business, running from A to B, ignoring that the target is even over there. Oh, look at you who's following me around, huh? That here is an excellent explosion. Just waiting to, f to have a reason to to um, to use this explosion here. Could move to here. Can we find a different spot? I think this here is a really nice spot to observe the target. So many items to remote start. And what the fuck are you guys doing here? Good. Transmission signal is fading. Yeah, we can't kill the transmitter anymore. We can kill a couple of mutants. My ammunition is almost gone. I am trusting you. Remember, they are not victims. My All right, okay, so everyone and their mother and father and grandparents are investigating. Okay, I get it. Commander, it's too late. The aliens have completed the transmission and closed the connection. We missed our chance. We've 
failed to stop the alien's transmission, Commander. But we can still secure the AO to prevent further action here. Menace 1-5, proceed to sweep the area. Eliminate all hostile contacts. We will do exactly that. Let's draw everyone to our big fat explosion site. As you order, Commander. Yep, position yourself down there. That's good. I'm reloading. Everyone, position down there. Very well. Nope, that's only two. I'm sorry. Exactly, get closer. Okay, so we're playing the little waiting game. That's fine. This will be big. Not as exciting as I wish it would have been, but still. Fortunately, we can't really kill them. By the way, there are still two of them. Yep, right down here. Here and here. Andromedon and Viper. Just waiting for their chance. Would have liked to get some more corpses, but it seems this here is becoming a stalemate. As soon as I'm moving away, I maybe could move over here, and they might go and check out the truck. Those two make a critical mistake. Probably going to be their last critical mistake. Always observe your surroundings. There you go. Viper down, mutant almost dead.
All right, reload, kill. I need to somewhat get them down to the to the truck. That is where I could kill them. Fortunately, we don't have a second shrapnel. So the only trump that I do have is one of these devices here. Trying to lure them in. Maybe they want to explore it a little bit more in, in depth. Yeah, I think that's a stalemate. If I had another grenade, another claymore rather, this here would be an easy kill. Could kill most of them with a claymore. Okay, one last option that I could see. We could go for the Heavy Lancer, essentially killing it. Now, if they hide at one of the trucks, that will be an advantage for us. So we're out of special shots uh, and or abilities from now on it's simply remote protocol and normal kills. If I can get them towards one of the trucks that would be huge. There's another one back here. I will reposition. I won't let them track a new player. I also need to be very aware about the fact that the AI can be cheating. So I'll just pass a couple of rounds here and see if we can still pull something off. I'll shorten the gameplay. Okay, after a few rounds of waiting, 
We finally found the heavy lancer here. But I don't think that there is much more for us to get. The Andromedon cannot be killed without a remote start. Yeah, and they don't want to move up. Like I said, it's a stalemate. It's the last pack. We could get them. That'll be huge. Because I think we also got enough um, corpses. To upgrade the armor. But I, I simply don't see how we can pull this one off. We have plenty of explo uh, explosive materials, but apparently none of these guys want to come into our direction. trying so hard to lure them into coming to us, but it seems to not work. All right, so finally we got spotted out, and unfortunately it didn't work out in the end. can still kill one of them. At the very end, it was too much for us. Watch closely. I'm leaving. At least we got ourselves some kills. Yeah, seven out of nine. Told you it's the last pack. was a valiant attempt. I'm hoping if we're scoring enough kills that we might get a promotion once in a while. At least she she gets kills. So the dark event was called New Construction. I hope that did not mean another facility. We definitely need the defense metrics now. And perfect, that's the ambush that we were looking for. Not going to happen in this episode, but in the next one. We might be able to level up um, Hogbite and or Roby in this mission. Uh, we should be okay, I would say. I mean, both of them are pretty well equipped at, at this stage of the game. As long as we're not making any really stupid mistakes, we should be good to go. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure as always. I very much enjoyed it. And the overall campaign is slightly trending upwards. I mean, still the Avatar project is by far the biggest issue that we need to deal with. But overall, it seems that some of the other things are falling nicely into place. Um, resources are good. We got solid uh, roster of uh, soldiers. We're doing covert ops missions non-stop and essentially helping us to stay in the game. Um, despite the fact that they do have five 
um, uh, facilities were still managing the uh, avatar project reasonably well it just requires us to always spend time on uh, removing the avatar progress yeah and we are almost at the highest tier of weapons and armor so that's also working okay i would say the game is now trending towards the end game status and if we can keep up with the aliens then we technically should be fine now the game is giving us all of the resources that we need so the main lesson lesson learned here is just don't panic if you're if your um, if your campaign doesn't really work the way that you want it to work just take the little small advantages here and there and that's really what we're doing anyways thanks for watching and next time we're going to join with this ambush and hopefully going to kill a lot of advents thank you so much and see you soon bye bye